Look at YouTube Ninja and Two Wheels here. I'm making this video because I finally got my bike back yesterday after yeah after that incident in Sydney. I'm back on the Gold Coast because I finished my uni semester. So yeah, it's good to be back and yeah, I got my bike back yesterday morning. Which means it took I think pretty much two months after the incident happened. But yeah, a lot of mucking around by the police. By the New South Wales police. But I guess it's a good ending. I got it back, it's all fixed. Um, the police told me in an email that the driver was charged with multiple fines and they only said that two of them were uh, one for reversing dangerously. I didn't even know that was an offence but like how often do you see someone reverse dangerously? But anyway and the other one was yeah obviously not exchanging details after yeah after a collision I guess. So pretty much a hit and run. And then I assume that they charged him with more, but yeah, they didn't really tell me in the email. But yeah, so I just wanted to make this video to, yeah, to, I guess, thank everyone for the support and also, yeah, to follow up on what actually happened. So we're all good now. The bike is awesome. And also, yeah, I, uh, you probably already noticed. Oh. I got a microphone. I don't know, how, like this is the first video I've done with it, so hopefully it works well. I guess I'll see tonight. I'll get home and upload it all to the computer. But hopefully the mic's good and you can hear me better because yeah that was one of my like flaws to all my videos is that the audio is pretty shit. Um, because I didn't use a microphone at all. I just did that like the sound before was just all from my camera. So hopefully this works well. I guess I could start talking about what I'm currently going through. I kind of really want to upgrade. Although the Ninja 300 has been fun. And all, I don't know. It's at the stage where I can still sell it for reasonable value. So I thought I may as well do that while it's got, oh it's still good. At the moment it's 17,678Ks, which is still quite a lot, but if I keep it any longer, I think I'm pretty much committing to the bike and I won't be able to sell it off. But yeah, while I got it at this, this state, I, I just want to sell it while I can and get the bike that I want, which is the ZX6R 636 Ninja. So yeah, I'm staying with the ninjas. Like, I'm, I made the YouTube name on purpose, Ninja and Two Wheels, because I'm a ninja fan. And yeah, I plan to keep that. Is my... Oh, my phone was vibrating. Or maybe it's the bike, I don't know. Skitty up.
Yeah, it actually really sounds very different now too. They actually changed, I don't know how much they changed the exhaust, but they did something to the exhaust. I know they painted it on the outside, but it really sounds different, so. I don't know if they changed something on the inside as well, but. It sounds better, I guess. It just sounds deeper, which, yeah, I prefer. Because before it just sounded like a toy. Yeah, it's still like reasonably loud, so which is what I like because, yeah, as a safety issue, I guess the cars can hear. So I'm happy that it's still got its got its voice. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing is apparently. It's legal now in Queensland to lane filter. So that is pretty sick. And definitely necessary, I think. Yeah, definitely like after my incident, coming back to the Gold Coast, hearing that it's legal to lane filter is absolutely awesome. So I know that something like that won't happen again, or well, let's hope. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely made me feel a lot safer.